mixing, knowing that that's happening, because you yeah. have to. It's just another thing to be on the <coughs> light <coughs> mix down, knowing that it's going to get hammered on Radio 1. So I test it, what's it like when it's hammered by one or two massive drinkers. I can imagine what will happen is you end up making mixers to say do yeah, range yeah. 8 or something like that. So you won't go for those final 4 dBs, you'll we'll leave another 4, four dBs yeah. worth of drums headroom in there, yeah. and that will be your final mix. You may then squash it a little bit further for, for, for a club. Yeah. It's not like we used to do that sort of Yeah, kind of thing. So we're drawing back from the brink. I don't, I don't think you should change your style of music or Skrillex's style of music because that's a, that's a sound, isn't it? Yeah, it's growing up I based on like, if you, when I apply it, <coughs> like, if I was to heavily limit my tracks, I'd do it as an artistic choice, not as a yeah, choice in a loud as well. Like, I, I want it to be loud and everything. Yeah. I want I, to I, I, I do, Isn't that the yeah. same yeah. thing? Isn't that yeah. the same thing? I wouldn't be doing it actually thinking that I want it to be. <laughs> I, just had to say, I think one of the problems is imagine imagine you're Andy C and Sorry, every week on A and you email you know, you get five hundred tracks. Okay? You've got thirty seconds max for each one. So which ones you're gonna play? If you're the biggest drum and bass DJ in the world, you go it's that kind of deal. It is a how can I get this what person or these people so listen up when they hear my music if they're not already expecting something from me. And that's I mean, that's that's part of the problem for the kind of certainly up and coming projects is, is it's got unfortunately it's got to be as loud as every other track in said in Skrillex's email because otherwise it's gonna be like well, I could play it but like I said, I've already got my game at hundred percent on my DJ mix so and that's it. It's too quiet. That at the moment that is an issue. People are noisy that you make again these really loud tracks. That's not done. Now. Imagine oh, I get in my inbox one from Noisier, really loud, with another one that is too quiet. It person as a DJ, it then affects my the creative part of it as a will I play it no. But again, if, if if the software was in your computer and it, and it made it all the same anyway, that that, that, that wouldn't exist yeah. again. Would it play that? No. It'd just be, do I like the thing? Imagine the quick QuickTime player. Reads the, reads the, the or yeah, or just the playback is is monitoring it, and so yeah, the waveform looks like this, but it plays back like this. I mean, yeah. But then you could, like, it, could, could say that's a tragedy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it, it is so like said, but I mean, I've, this has come from kind of getting tracks, burning them, getting to a club. Oh my god, it's really quiet. What have I done? It's just mm -hmm. killed my dance floor because mm -hmm. I haven't checked it or looked at it first. So it's, every other track is. Yeah. Would most clubs, if you, because the solution to that is you can pull the game back on the loud stuff and then they crank up the apps. Yeah. Is that ever going to happen? Realistically? Yeah. No. No. But it's the kind of thing that people say to me, like, turn it down, I'll turn it down. So, yeah, okay. It's, you know, I mean, it depends. Different DJs do it differently, but I tend to try and kind of not be hammering and mix it too hard anyway. So <laughs> I do normally have that option. But the thing I think with dance music and DJs, is that they just come to expect that everything's that got an RMS up right up high. So they, they, I don't know, it's almost like dance music has done this themselves. They've got their kind of It's completely self inflicted problem across the but industry. Yeah. I mean mastering engineers, engineers are to some extent to blame. Because it's all if you play somebody two things that are identical and one of them is half a dB louder, most people will choose the slightly louder one sounding better. That works when you've got twelve dBs of headroom. You can notch it up by half a dB, and I used to do it when I started mastering in 596. Um, you know, it was like, oh, if I push this just a little bit harder, it's going to sound that much better than whatever else. Um, the trouble is, we run out of space, we run out of headroom. You know, with the volume control, you can go up here and your speakers will pop, and that's the limit. Whereas on CD, there's zero dB up against, you know. I managed to get the loudness speaker working just so you can just get a quick idea of how it works. Do you want to turn it down?
I mean, you can see where the CD is there. Flat. Nothing at all. Oh, I know it's missing. I need to tip that box. That is just like a flashy section though. Oh yeah, no, I mean it's it's that's like a really potent. <laughs> in the loudness, and it is a very trashy section, everything's very full on it. CD, there's nothing there. Yeah? You can see that. But this is how, so that shows that my ears agree with the meter. This new standard, this LU, the only reason that that pokes up a bit higher is that there's more variety so that on average the louder beats are going up. And I think you'd agree with the playback there is quite consistent. I'll show you another couple of the examples. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is the future. 
Oh. I'm afraid. It's just a bad song, Barney. Oh, it's, <laughs> an extreme, it's an extreme Barney's example. There's one's mixed by Dre really, really well, and one's not mixed very well. <laughs> I mean, can I just say Terrible a But let's do the smell. Because we all agree the Skrillex is top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of being <laughs> loud. From my point of view, I just say that we, we play with dynamics and the lack of it to purely trying to make stuff sound good, whereas these these don't sound good. The cheap folks one doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know why that anyway. <laughs> If anyone wants to speak to Dan, we'll be there. I'll be, I'll be firing up the, the T2 dynamic meter, so if you have a look at your own stuff, Temple Dynamic Ranger, thank you for coming and always staying here. Yeah. Are you capable of sitting down till I finish speaking or something? <laughs> <laughs> 